you all having an amazing day wherever you are. Don't forget to stay hydrated and drink your water. Right now we are very excited because we are bringing our baby to the Pride Parade. In West Hollywood, it's gonna be her first gay parade, huh baby? And we think that it's important to teach well, our kids young, that love is love and that we love everyone. We're very excited. The only thing is that we are not sure if we are actually gonna make it on time. We're going with Kiehl's, which is a skincare company that was nice enough to invite us out. So we're gonna be marching with them in the parade. We're supposed to be there at 1045 and we're in LA traffic. So we're probably not gonna make it. And then if we don't make it, I don't know what happens. If we still are gonna be able to like march in the parade, if we're gonna have to like sneak in, I'm not really sure. So, um, but we are, all dressed up in our rainbow colors. I guess you can't really see it. We'll show you more when we get out. Um, but Snow has her little rainbow leg warmers, her little pink hat. So we're very festive and Travis has a hilarious hat that he's gonna, an umbrella hat that he's gonna wear on his head. See you at the parade. We just really quickly wanted to let you guys know why we thought it was important to bring snow to um, LA Pride Parade, to the LA Pride Parade. For one, like we are huge supporters of the LGBTQ plus community. We always have been, we always will be. So I just wanted to be there to, you know, as an ally and to support our people. And also I thought it was really important to bring snow because I want to teach her from a young age that love is love and the importance of equality. I think that you know, it's my job as a parent to teach my kid and instill that in them. Yeah. That's the next generation. You know, we don't want the same things that have been happening years ago to continue to happen. Um, and so I just think you're never too young to teach your kids um, important things. I mean, we want to teach her a million good qualities, right? But this is just one of them. And I, it just, it's so cool to be able to like have a little human and yeah. to try to teach them right from wrong and um, do the best that you can. Yeah. Of course, and so we're, we're doing the best that we can and the best that we know how. And so it was really cool to take her there. It was amazing to see how many people showed and, up. And, and businesses and just yeah. individuals and people of all walks and type of life. Yeah. I mean, there were, there were even like church groups that we saw. Mm -hmm. I mean, Which was very like, shocking and surprising to me. To well, see it was like Cal Lutheran or something like that was there. Yeah, something Lutheran, like SoCal Lutheran we saw or something. But once again, that kind of like, we always have to put ourselves in check too because for that, like we think, oh, like that's really surprising. 
But we shouldn't be surprised and we shouldn't just judge like, oh, you know, like be so the, these people or this group automatically thinks this way. Right. And that's like where we're always trying to like put ourselves in check too. It's like, okay, just because you're with this group or that group or you do this or that doesn't mean it just as a broad, in general, everybody thinks exactly the same way. You know yeah. what I mean? So I think that that's really helpful in showing and explaining and showing it. I mean, we can't explain to her right now, but she'll see like growing she'll know up. She'll grow up. Yeah, that love is love and you can't always help who you love. If you love a man or a woman or, or whatever the case is, that's what your feelings are. And I don't think that you can force and change that. Yeah. You know, it's, it's like we're left-handed, you know, back when we were younger and we were trying to, you know, like maybe we had teachers trying to force us to write with our right hand. And it's mm -hmm. like, no, this doesn't feel right. Yeah. You know, I'm, I have to use my left hand. Right. It's a really silly example, but it's like not forcing it, just saying, hey, like, this is who you are and this is okay. And, you know. Right, and accepting people for who they are yeah. and whether that means, you know, they love a man loves a man or whatever the case may be i just feel like it's we we see still to this day i have friends who who are gay and their parents don't accept them and don't talk to them and it's so sad and it breaks my heart and it just like it literally makes me want to cry i don't want that repeated and i want our daughter to know that you know if she grows up that she can love whoever she wants and we're going to love her and accept her and support her no matter what and i want her to also love and support others no matter what so that's just really important to us that's like that's more important to me than her knowing you know like science stuff or like you know certain things in school that they well, teach she needs you to know science maybe not calculus you know what i mean no. you know the point i'm trying to prove is <laughs> no, like there's certain things yeah. in school that are not taught and this is one of them and so i feel like it's our job as parents to teach her that and for her to know and grow up like as a baby i was at la pride you yeah. know and and be proud of it so yeah Basically, that was one of the reasons that we thought it was important and fun to go out and support. And again, just super stoked and excited to see thousands and thousands of people show up. Um, it was it was packed. You, it I mean, was you crazy. guys see, we filmed a bunch, and um, today, and Shannon and I talked about like today's vlog is is not about us at all. Right, you know, yeah. we were just trying. We want to show points and examples. Yeah, try to show, you know, like just document what was going on and, and be out there for support and everything else. And, uh, and to it not, was really cool. And to, not, and to try not to judge others because I feel like that's something that even me, where I feel like I'm the most non judgmental person and I just like to try to accept everybody, still sometimes can be judgy, like yeah. with the church group that was there. Just because I feel like in the Bible it's, it says that, like, that gay people should be stoned to death and so to see a church group it was just it was very like cool to see that and again i have to work on me not being judgmental we, i think it's not just you i think it's everybody and, yeah. and i think we as people in general we always kind of like have to put ourselves in check like we may right. do something and then maybe the next day or even right afterwards back like, mm, i gotta pull this back a little bit and not be so judgmental because i think just by default sometimes we automatically are for not just maybe every single thing but maybe certain like, groups and we'd say no i can't associate every single person with thinking the same way yeah you know and I, mean? I think like that is one of the big things you know like i used to do porn a lot of you guys know that and so i am immediately judged right off the bat before yeah. anyone even gets to know me for what i did and they just think that like i'm you know this irresponsible like drug addict you know what i mean like or who you are on like camera working or something like that and that's right not, right yeah that's yeah and so any, anyways but that's yeah so i wasn't accepted in his family i'm sure you guys know that's like one of the big reasons that yeah, we whole, don't talk to the majority yeah. of traps's family is they didn't accept me for me and so just you know again we're not trying to make this video about us but yeah, we're trying to give we're examples to... of like these things not being repeated. You can't help who you fall in love with. He fell in love with the next porn star. <laughs> I, you know, and I'm sure people would automatically judge him for that. But again, we just have to like try hard to not be so judgmental, keep ourselves in check, and us as parents to teach our kids, you know, right from wrong and, and quality and all that good stuff. So anyway, I'm rambling. Also, something exciting, Trav, you wanna tell them? You, yeah, you are rambling on. Today, I came out at Pride. All right, you guys, I hope that you enjoyed this vlog. If you did, be sure to give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe.
turn your notifications on because for some reason a lot of you guys are not seeing these videos. Because, a lot of you guys are not seeing these videos. Yeah, but we are posting every day at 9 a.m. Yeah. Pacific Standard Time. So just come back to our channel because there will be a video here. Thank you guys again so much for watching. We're sending you all of our love and all of our positive energy. We hope to see you in our next video. And you know, we'll be here tomorrow. <gasps> will you? Oh my gosh, you are so fun. I think Travis is better explain things. We'll yeah. let him take it from here. Thank you.